All right, let's talk about how we can create growth effects using just a shader in Cinema 4D and Redshift. An example is this shot I made, which is just driven with the shader displacement. Let's set up our scene uh, with a sphere just so we can have something to test our growth effect on. Kind of make it look like a rock a little bit using a displacer. Okay, once we have the general shape that we're happy with for now, um, we can subdivide it to smooth it out and we will start to build our shader. So for this example, because it is a sphere, we will select a uh, spherical in the UV projection mode. Uh, you will have to change this for other types of geometry, but this is just an easy way to get started. So we'll be driving our, our growth effect using the uh, using a ramp along the UV coordinates. So we'll set up our ramp to be vertical along the UV coordinates and we'll add a little bit of noise to break up the edge uh, between where the two uh, materials will mix. We'll set the lower part of the ramp to gray right beneath the white so that we have a leading edge that is more displaced than the than the rest of it. I think this is a matter of preference and that looks nice to me, um, but you can choose to do whatever. Just know that if you modify the, the values between black and white, you can get varying levels of displacement. You'll need to turn on the displacement uh, using your redshift object tag, and sometimes you need to crank up the uh, displacement values quite a bit just to visualize the effect. Okay, now that we have our basic ramp set up for our displacement, we'll actually feed it into a material blender setup. So we'll connect our two materials and our blend color um, and have a mix between the two materials where the displacement is happening. Okay, so you can see now we also have a differentiation of the materials where the displacement's happening. Um, we needed to make a separate ramp for the blend color because, uh, there, like I said, there were varying values of, of gray, so we needed to set it to just white so that we get a, an appropriate blend. And you can play with these values as much as you want. This is really just supposed to be a, a quick demonstration of how you achieve the, the general effect. So you'll use the offset, uh, the UV offsets to animate your displacement over time uh, to make it grow across the, the geometry. Also, to, to add another another layer of kind of interest to the growing effect is to figure out a mix of noise, amount, and frequency that you want to animate over time uh, to have the growth kind of moving along, not just being a static growth effect. So I think that's a nice way to add another layer of of uh, interest to the to the growth. And here we can just go through uh, and do a little test after we keyframe our noise values and our offset values. Okay, you can see how it, you can see the displacement growth effect and the noise moving along. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick tip, and I'll see you in the next one.